It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. Now, we got a lot of interesting topics. Uh, before we get into it, please like, comment, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Let's get it started off with your boy Dove Diddy, a.k.a. Love. So it looks as though they wasted no time. Diddy has replaced Kanye West. He's an official billionaire, officially a billionaire. They announced it today on Forbes. Congratulations goes out to Pete Diddy. And they said he now replaced Kanye and moved into what they say, the, the fourth the highest earning uh, hip hop artist. <clears throat> you know, he's behind now Jay Z, Dr. Dre. And they said he is now a billionaire. Diddy replaces Ye joins Jay-Z in the Billionaires Club, so not Dr. J, on 2022 list of wealthiest hip-hop artists. I thought Dr. J was in it, but remember, he was a tad bit short of being a billionaire. So now Diddy is, is down with the Billionaires Club. Kanye slides out, Diddy slides in. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. A long time coming. People used to think, it says here, let's see what this says. It says the highest since he became John with first being in 2019. He's now trailed by Sean Diddy Combs, who replaced his former collaborator Kanye West with a net worth of $1 billion after the latter's string of anti Semitic and anti black comments muddled his business deals to the point where his total wealth dropped from a report of $2 billion to reported five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, excuse me, five hundred million. Don't try to act like the anti-black comments did something. The anti-black comments didn't do nothing, cause blacks didn't do nothing about it. So Jay Z is his dude. He's now joined Jay Z, and they are right now currently the only two rap billionaires in the game. So shout out to them. Now, academics was. Um, Talking about Taylor Swift, he said, be a little bit more on Taylor Swift, selling the 1.5, selling nearly 1.5 in the first week. She is doing this mostly by selling actual product. Her rough sales breakdown, 600 to 700K vinyl copies, CD, cassette, digital album purchases, 400K, and streaming 400K. If Taylor Swift sells 1.5 first week, that would mean she would outsell Drake. Bad Bunny and Adele combined first week. Nah, she'd be different. Well, by academics, she is different. Because it has been already stated, she's about to sell 1.5 first week. By the way, Taylor Swift got that. Everybody's pushing their albums back. She's finna be easily number one next week, and maybe even the week after. No rapper, no artist wants smoke. Everybody wants a number one album. They're all trying to drop it far out. After Taylor Swift is possible. Shorty really sold 1.5 million. Remember we stated that the first day. I said. I went way above my expectation. I said. She might do. She's going to definitely do 700K. But then when I saw the reception. I said. Taylor Swift might do a million. In the first week. And here she is 1.5. Man she's 500. She's 500,000 copies. Off of two million in the first week. I gotta agree with academics. T Swizzle is different. She's different. And then once they see this, I wonder what I wonder will rappers and you know record labels to start saying, you know what? Let's go back to vinyl. Try to convince the, the record labels. Let's go back to vinyls or at least add on. A certain amount of vitals that, that way you can really track what fans are really buying your music. I stated this before. Go back to records. Go back to vinyls, CDs. That way you can really track who's really messing with you and who's really not. Because Taylor Swift is doing it the old fashioned way. These people are buying these. She might have one million pure sales. She is a brilliant, brilliant marketer. She, her rollouts are top notch. Nobody's messing with her when it comes to these rollouts. 
Moving on <laughs> to your boy Jason Lee and Rihanna. <laughs> so, so I'm going to show you all the clips after I finish setting it up. Now, we all know Jason Lee owns Hollywood Unlocked. He's a blogger, business owner, or what have you, right? Now, Jason Lee always wants to make people. He's in love with the fact that he knows a few people in Hollywood, you know, pretty, probably thanks to Floyd Mayweather. He knows some people in Hollywood, and he wants to make it seem as though because he knows so many different people in Hollywood, that puts him on a different level. Now, mind you, he, he referred to Rihanna as his friend in the industry because I believe she sent him flowers or something like that around the time of his award show that he was having, and that bootleg award show he threw. And Rihanna was, was sent him flowers and gave him good words, whatever. But at the end, he shows up at the uh, Wakanda Forever. And, and remember, earlier he was on saying, if Rihanna shows up, I'm getting kicked out. So he was already planning to fan out. Excuse me. So he said, you know, Rihanna was his friend. Rihanna doesn't follow him from what uh, I've heard people in Rihanna Navy say. So Rihanna doesn't follow him on any social media. So I don't know how he thinks Rihanna's his friend. And then they take taking pictures. And the first thing you see is ASAP Rocky's like, okay, now. ASAP Rocky pulls Rihanna away from old thirsty-ass Jason Lee, over-aggressive-ass, invasive-ass. And it just took you back to when he was, back when he was fat. Remember when he was fat? <laughs> And he going to go all the way. He, he run and told, tell his cameraman, get over here. He saw Beyonce. He went all the way from the other side of the room trying to walk his big ass off fast. Beyonce saw his big ass coming from a distance. <laughs> Beyonce saw his big ass coming from a distance. He was looking for somewhere to go. Beyonce, when she noticed this big <laughs> thing coming for her, she was like, "Who? Wait a minute, <laughs> Jai, who's that? Who? Who's that big man coming over here?" <laughs> she tried to, she tried to escape, and then by before she could escape, he up on her to about some pictures, of, but. <laughs> It just everyone, everyone on social media was having a laugh, saying, "But all these celebrities trying to get away from this." Armand <laughs> said, "Armand said after all that surgery, you are still fat." <laughs> that is what gets me. <laughs> oh, Armand put his foot in Jason Lee's ass, boy. All right, anyway, I'm going to show you all these clips. Congratulations to Taylor Swift, did it up. Rihanna, congratulations on her new music, Lift Them Up, or Lift Me Up. And that's on the Wakanda soundtrack. I like it. I'm sorry. I think her vocals sound great. Congratulations to Dove Diddy on being a billionaire. <laughs> And congratulations to Jason Lee for running yet another celebrity the other way. <laughs> I will catch y'all on the next one, man. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. Enjoy the clips and get a laugh, man. Look, look, look at Beyonce trying to get away from Jason Lee. Congratulations to you on the song and the soundtrack. That's amazing. Thank you both very much. <laughs>
Thank you.